Hello, I'm Dare Tebbers, and we're back at Volgersburg, the land of teleporting cows. Dun dun dun. Hello, everybody. Uh, we have, if I go look here, we got three of our fields all ready to go. Yay! So, our experiment this is going to be the, uh, the month of experiments, by the way. Um, our experiment is off to a start. We're going to have to go harvest our. Barley, canola, and wheat. So we're gonna we're gonna get started there. Start this guy up. Now, let's get it actually to start. How about that? That would probably be a good idea. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, I gotta. Okay, now I got, now I remember how to get this out of here. Dude. <laughs> I don't remember these things. Nope, I also forget I have a rear end on this thing, apparently. Alright, so, um, yes, this is the weekend of experiments. And they are very experimenty. Experimentatory? Exper exper whatever. How are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, whoa, where's the trailer? Oh, that's right. I never bothered to get. I don't know where the trailer is. I think it's in the reset point. <laughs> Never mind, we're just gonna pick it up with this guy. Yeah, I know some of you hate this, but oh well. <laughs> there we go. Let's rock and roll. I also hate the fact that thing jumps off the trailer. That's what I hate. Oh yeah, there is a trailer. How about that? Alright, we're gonna just we're just gonna go with like cut these down. Woo! Yeah! Uh, crackers. I don't have wither wheels. I don't have wither wheels. If I do, well, I'm screwed. I hope I don't. This crop is growing nicely. It doesn't look all nice and lush. Looks like the fields here right now. They all look very nice, lush green. It's very pretty. Very nice to see after the, the very late Mother's Day snowstorm that we had here. Don't hit that. Okay. Urge. Let's, uh, let's put the lasers up. Switch to murky mode. Disable the chopper. Uh, back here. Should the auto combine controls. Is on, distance keeper is off, driving, yes, we're gonna turn left. Yes, and we're going to lower worky. Okay. Go! How's he gonna do? I actually did pretty well. Good for him. Good. Alright. Check really quick. Yes, okay, we're making a line. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> I was going to take that to the trailer. There. This is what I need. Start this guy up. So what other experiments are we going to do? Well... Here's one. We're, we're going to do an experiment for this month. An entire month of an experiment. How about that? Ooh, let's not hit that. So for this month... As many of you are quite aware, I've been cutting video. I've, I cut these videos up into chunks. I basically cut out all the parts where I'm just like completely and totally silent while I'm waiting on something to happen, like a harvester to harvest. So I just cut out those parts. Well, for this month, I'm not going to cut out those parts. Ooh, spooky. So, to some degree, you will get a little bit less in the terms of footage because what used to be, eh, give or take, I would do about an hour and 40 minutes of, uh, I do about, I would do about an hour and 40 minutes and then I cut about 20 minutes of total just whatever time. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do 20, 40, an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> I 
got my little timer running. Basically, I'm going to do an hour and 20 minutes of work. Now, if I have to go, like, accelerate time overnight or something like that, I'll cut that out because all I do then is I stand around and I actually go read magazines or newspapers or books or whatever. But, um, yeah. So there's not going to be as much in the way of cuts, which does put more work on me because now I have to actually come up with things to say the entire time, but, you know, whatever. Okay, let's get over here. I can get to this guy. All right. I'm also going to experiment doing more in the cab. <laughs> Maybe. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more in cab. Not like all of it in cab by any stretch of the imagination, but a good bit. Really? Okay. That's one of those moments where I can't do it in cab because it looked like it was proper to me. I was wrong. There we go. And... No? No? You! Huh. Open. Good. Go. Now, I was considering other experiments. I have to do this out of cab. <laughs> I was considering a few other experiments. Um... One of them is to actually record the yield coming off of each of these fields so I can get an idea of, of yield per hectare. But I did that once in uh, way back in the very first season. And unless your map has been specifically modified to change the yield, shouldn't be adjusting the yields at all. Now the the Colorado map had an adjusted yield on it. So that one was a particular bugabear. I bet you the guy's stuck. How much you want to bet? You want to bet he's stuck? Because that's what I bet right now. Yep. All right. Let me get you out of the way. There. Good. Uh, there. And away we go. Uh, oh, speaking of that Colorado map. I have not forgotten about getting you guys a copy of that map. I really have not. My problem is finding a place to store it. I might be able to store it. Um, I, I, I'm making an attempt to store it somewhere. The problem is I have to be careful because it's a pretty big map. And if I put it on some place like Dropbox, you guys will just slam it and Dropbox will say, okay, you've used up your bandwidth and then you guys will get upset about that. So I have to be kind of careful about that. But I think I have a place to store it for a little bit. And if so, I will let you know. Somehow. Twitter, probably. Twitter and Facebook, they're my usual ways. Twitter, of course, is the preferred way. So we got barley on this field. We're gonna we're going to chaff up this field. I think the wheat field I'll I'll do something with. I'll figure out the wheat field in a minute. I might I might take the straw off the wheat field for the cows, which probably are out of food right now, but Yeah, they're probably out of food. I see no reason why they would have any food. I had to accelerate time to get all the crops grown, so uh, presumably they're starving. Oops. Wow, was there a Bowser? What happened here? Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on going and just chaff all that up into nothingness. That wasn't gonna be very good at all. All right, let's run this over, then we'll go and deal with the cows. We got to empty that guy, which is easy enough. Here we go. We're back in the cab again. Get the help away. I think they over tinted the interior of this class. That's what I think. 
I think they overtinted it a bit. Yeah, we're gonna use silo one. <laughs> uh, I have no reason other than I feel like it. It's the only reason I got out, out, get out of my trailer. Now, someone did suggest to go ahead and sell this class. And you know, I thought about it. I really thought hard about selling the class. But... I also came up with a reason to keep the class. And that reason, very simply, is... Pretty soon... I'm hoping to open up the facility on the other side of the railroad tracks. And when I do that, I'm going to need a tractor over there. How are we doing on compression? 65%. That's not bad. Um, and I'm going to need a tractor over there to, to deal with running stuff around and whatever. Because I'll probably try to grow stuff that can be sold over at the Banhoff. Since it's, you know, the closest item and all that jazz. Let's put him here. Where is? There you are. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll go at the Banhoff. I'll, I'll put stuff over there, so then I'll just have some cane trailers. That's probably the most logical thing to do. Uh, several of you have asked for the list of mods. Um, okay. I'll try to remember to put it in the description. I'll just put the list, though. I'll put the list, and I'm going to put the season and episode number that I reviewed the mod. If you want the link, then you're going to have to go there. Cheeky, I know, but that's the way it's going to work. And of course, if it's a previous season, you can always go to the award show, the last episode of the award show, and get the Excel, the Google Doc spreadsheet that uh, has all of the mods that I did for that season. Though a lot of this stuff comes off of this last season, so that spreadsheet isn't up yet. Ah, uh, water. Good old H2 and O. Let me get out of your way. Quit being a pain in the butt. Golly. Search. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll go with you. All right. Uh, that. 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 Go. Nope. There. I almost had everything. Oh, wait. And I can turn off my four-wheel drive there. Hey, look at that. I, I've almost learned the interior of my John Deere. I saw one of these going down the road today. And in fact, it was a front loader. I don't know if it was a 7R. Um, it went by so fast. Oh, well. Look her. Nope, not that one. That one. Um, <laughs> got to remember. I didn't know if it, I don't know if it was a 7R. It went, it went by really fast. They were going the opposite direction of me. Um, and I was I was on a bus, so it's not like I could slow down or anything. But um, yeah, they were apparently taking something to um, to get repaired because it was the front loader was on the the deer, and they had, they left the strap on the front loader to the the implement they were hauling. It was on a back of a flatbed pulled by a John Deere, but um, yeah. I was like, oh, look, it's a John Deere, like the one I've got on the farm, except for bigger because it has dual rears and probably not a 7R, but whatever. <laughs> what can I say? I'm highly amused when I'm riding on the bus. That's what I can say. Okay. Fill her up. F f fill, her, fill her up? No, no fill her up. Ugh. Oh, bugger. Okay, go this way now. There. Fill it up. Fill it up, sir. I'm presuming I'm going to need to get some silage and straw and grass. What the heck was that leg spike from? Hello, leg spike from heck. That's a really weird one, too. Those Someone said, oh, I haven't had it on my game. Yeah. I had it recently. I, it's, it's a very recent thing, and it's only happening on this map. 
Um, which does make me wonder if it's the mods. Um, because it hasn't been happening on the Canada map, which has, which I'm constantly beaten up with all of those mods that I use. Um, yeah, it's it's weird. I'm I am thinking that it's a mod thing going on, but I check pretty regularly the uh, off. There. Uh, not you, not you, not you. You're fine. Aha. Um, I check pretty regularly the log file just to make sure that I don't have mods in here that are that are problematic. And I don't. So it does make me really kind of wonder what's going on. The only way I can really resolve the situation is to start removing mods and then run the game for an extended period of time. It seems to be when it's drawing in certain things, though. So, I don't know. It could also be that... And I, I do sort of believe this, that some games just don't play well on, on uh, striped drives. Because uh, both my drives, both my game drives, I have two 10,000 RPM, 500 gig Raptor drives, Velociraptors, that are in RAID 0, which means that basically the data is written part to one, basically half to one drive, half to the other, just not, you know, one to 50% and then 50 to 100. It's written, like, basically back and forth between those two drives. It increases the speed of the transfer rates, but I think some games don't play well with RAID controllers. I, it's a belief. People tell me, oh, no, that's not true, but then at the same time, I see weird artifacts in games that run on my striped drives versus the game that the games that run on my uh, my main drive. But that's just thoughts. I do have a theory about which mods are causing the weirdness, but it's so odd because. The mod that I thought was the biggest problem child is actually very rarely ever in shot when those huge leg spikes show up. So, there you go. There you go. Okay. Do I have? I do have all these. Okay. Wow. Got a terrible driver going on here. It's like weeble wobbing all over the place. I'll get there. Just let me fill this one up. People keep telling me that the the Bergman can pick up the straw. I'm not picking up straw. I'm picking up chop. I'm picking up silage. So, uh, yeah, the Bergman can't do that natively. And that is why I have to have the kid attached. 7, 98, 99, maybe 100. There we go. Stop. You. Now, my hope is this week and we will be able to harvest our three fields and maybe have a little bit of, really, of money, there we go, to uh, do other things. Because it'd be nice to do a few other things. I don't know what, per se. I mean, we do have $195,000, which is sweet money in the pockets. Money's in the money scissors in the pocket scissors. Slow down. Just make sure we kinda level it out a little bit. Just kinda the leveling. Go forward. Yeah, it's almost time for the Cheyenne Frontier Stay Rodeo. Some of you are like, really? Yeah, really. 
In fact, usually Union Pacific runs a uh, steam train from Denver up to Cheyenne. I don't know if they're doing it this year. I guess I could find out. Wouldn't take much to find out, honestly. Now, the nice thing is, we're going to go from Barley to Canola. So we have a little break on the um, straw. That'll let us, I think, get kind of caught up. 